High Adventure. Tonight's story by Terence Cohen is entitled The Homing Pigeon. Yes, is that... No name, Murphy. Are you alone? Yes, I'm alone. The wife and kids have gone to the flex. Won't be back for some time. Have you left a message for them? Yes, I've left a message. So you're willing to go through with it? Yes, I'm willing. Good man. You've become a martyr for the cause. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Seeing you're only half Irish and born in England. Lay off. I'm not doing this for any blasted cause. You know why I'm doing it. Go off, Murphy. I know why you're doing it. Same as me, in a way. Anyway, forget that for now. Meet me at the corner of Days and Helmsford in ten minutes. I'll pick you up in a car. I'll be there. You better be, Murphy. Or else, you know too much now. I'll be there, I tell you. I've nothing to lose. The specialist confirmed my doctor's report this morning. Then everything's plain sailing, as they say. Ten minutes from now. And don't be late. <laughs> Over here. You, Malone? Here, get in. Where are we going? Don't you worry your head about that, Murphy. The less you know, the better. This isn't Ireland. This is ruddy England. Now, tie this handkerchief over your eyes. I'll tell you when you can take it off. Blast him, Malone. Don't you trust me? We trust nobody in the games we play. Now, do as you're told or the deal's off. Talking of deals... What happens if I change my mind? You get a bullet through the head. Standard procedure for a traitor. Another thing. You know me now. And that's knowing too much. Like I told you on the phone. Now, you going to blindfold yourself or not? Okay, okay, calm down. I'm willing. Now get going. The sooner this is over and done with, the better for me. Okay, now you calm down. Don't remove the blindfold yet, Murphy. Wait until we're in the house. You might recognize the place. Now out you get. I'll guide you. Is that Murphy with you, Malone? Yeah. Bring him in. Lomas is waiting in the library. You can remove the blindfold now, Murphy. Oh, thanks. Darkness gets one down after a time. I'll hate it when I'm blind. That'll be the final stage, so the doc says. Come on, come on. We're not all day to waste. Sit down, Murphy. Drink? Thanks. A uh, small whiskey. It's about the only vice my doctor allows. Your illness is fatal, then. Yes. The specialist gives me three weeks. Then I snuff it. Long enough to do this job, Murphy. I suppose so. And when does this pension start for my family? Immediately after the job's done. Two thousand a year, should you? Oh, that's fine. It'll put the kids through college and keep the wife in the sort of comfort she's been used to. So what guarantees have I got there'll be no double cross? After all, a dead man won't know. Will he? There'll be no double cross, Murphy. You're not the first, you know. Remember the Leach family? Yes, I checked on them. Discreetly, I hope, for your sake. Of course. Do you take me for a fool? No, Murphy. Just a dying man in desperate need of funds for his loved ones. That's why we're here. I could give you other names, Arab and other terrorist groups, but one's enough. This time it's the Irish. This peace meeting in Belfast must be stopped. 
The war must go on or we start to lose millions in arms, get it? I get it. Now, when do I leave for Belfast? Tonight. You catch the boat safer than going by air. They don't check as much. But you've nothing to fear. The customs man has been bribed. Malone goes with you to see that you carry out your side of the bargain. Well, what about your side? Will these solicitors see that my family are provided for? Of course, they're not crooked. In fact, they're one of the most respected firms in London. You saw the trust fund we'd set up. What more do you want? Oh, nothing, I suppose. But I don't need Malone. I'll do this thing without him. Malone goes with you. He'll leave you when you're in the building and not before. If you leave without carrying out your instructions, he'll kill you. You got that? Oh, loud and clear. Now, where's the bomb? Get it, Malone. Yes, Chief. Here we are, Chief. Right. I'll strap it on Murphy and said. Oh, now, hold on. Kiss, tell you, fool. One mistake now, and it's castles for all of us. It's fitted and set, Chief. Ready to be triggered. Good. Take the bomb off now, Murphy, and it could blow up. You're sure? <laughs> Not really. It's pretty safe. When you get outside the building where they're holding the peace gathering, Malone will set the fuse. And then you really can't take it off. It will blow up. I see. So that's why Malone's to come with me. You don't trust me to set the fuse. That's right. We don't trust you. Here, put that in your pocket. What is it? A homing device. Another guy will be following us to see you don't get rid of me and clear off. If we don't keep to the predetermined route, he'll report back here to the deal's oh, office. For pity's sake, don't they even trust you, Malone? That's enough. We trust nobody in this game. The stakes are too high. Have you filled up with that for Malone? Hi, everything, Chief. Spare fan belt, check the oil and water, and the tank's full. We'll be okay. I'm driving. I see you are, Malone. I wouldn't have liked anything to happen to your family if it went wrong. He's off, Chief. He won't go wrong. The last caper I went on went off like a bomb. <laughs> if you'll excuse the pun, didn't it? Very well, Malone, as long as you're sure. I am, Chief, so relax. You better take this, Malone. You might need it if Murphy changes his mind. I don't need a gun. It's too risky. I might get caught with it. No, you won't. We've told you the customs man has been fixed. Now take it, man. Blast you. All right. You know I hate the things. Shut up, Malone. And do as Hagen tells you. We're paying for the tune, so you dance to it, see? Yeah. Yeah, I dance. And you pay. Come on, Murphy. Let's go. In a minute. I want to say something to your friend, Lomas. What can a punk like you have to say, Murphy? This, Lomas. If I wasn't dying, and if I didn't need the money to take care of my family, I'd see you all in Hades. You're nothing but murdering thugs, relying on a war with people who suffered enough. Why, you let up Oh, get right there, Lomas. I might forget myself and lose my half-Irish temper. Blech. Well, that's better. Now sit down again. Your blood pressure's showing. I'll tell you something else. I checked on your solicitors. They're honest enough. In fact, I doubt they'd touch you with a proverbial barge pole if they knew who they were dealing with. But like I said, they're honest. And in spite of you... They'll see my family gets its 2,000 pounds blood money a year. Now let's go, Malone. I suddenly feel sick. After him, Malone. And get that blindfold on him. We can't afford to slip up at this stage. All right, Chief. I'll climb him down and knock him out. Do what you like. But see, he gets to that meeting. Alive. I will. I don't like it, Lomas. It could go wrong. Murphy's too hot-headed for this. He didn't need calm nerves. He'll do it all right. It's the only way he can provide for his family. I still don't like it. Can't we get someone else this still time? There's nobody else who can get into that building. Murphy's been writing about the Irish troubles for over a year. He has a pass. Anybody else wouldn't get near the place. Now relax, man, and have a drink. Here you are. I'm giving you a double. Oh, thanks. This Grant who's monitoring the homing device, does Malone know him? Of course not. You know the rule. I know it. I just thought in this case they might have met. Well, they have not. But seeing you're worried, I'll give you something to be really worried about. Go on. Does Malone know about his brother? You mean, for Pete's sake, you haven't told him his brother would be at the meeting? No. You're mad. Malone will sing like a canary to the cops when he finds out. He won't. He and his brother have become expendable. They're both losing their nerves. The car's carrying a bomb, too. Grant will blow up Malone on the way back. This pigeon will never come home to roost. <laughs> Some homing pigeon, Romus. Blast, I'll hand it to you. <laughs> I'm glad you approve. Now, how about another drink to seal it?
Hey, Murphy. What do you want? You're very quiet. Haven't spoken a word since I removed the blindfold. Thinking about your last few hours. Uh, yes. Is Lomas his real name? What do you want to know for? You won't be seeing him again on this earth. Oh, knock it off, will you? Sorry. Anyway, what do you want to know about Lomas? I, uh, I noticed he's got a phone. So? It's not listed. And it's not his real name, as you've guessed. I heard through the grapevine he's got Russian connections. So I was right. The commies are behind us. Behind what? Oh, don't be a fool. Behind all these killings. He said I wasn't the first. The Arab terrorists and other mad killers. Yeah. He and Hagen are behind a lot of killings. Sometimes I get sick of it all. Innocent people dying so that they can fill their pockets. They thrive on war and bloodshed. And why don't you get out? You must be joking. I'd be lucky to get a bullet. Nobody, but nobody leaves this organization alive. Palomine tried it. Fished him out of the Thames. He was so mangled the cops thought a ship's propeller had struck him. I knew better. They tortured the poor devil. He took hours to die. No, sir. Not on. I'll stay with him. I have no option. How would it be if I got you out of it? And a lie. You can't, Murphy, so forget it. Suppose I could. You care to listen? Go on. Drop me off before we get the boat. Don't be a fool. The guy behind us would soon know. Have you forgotten the homing device you're carrying? Of course I haven't. But you could take it and go on ahead. The guy behind wouldn't smell a rat until it was too late. He'd kill me. It depends. Depends on what? Does this Lomas organization have airtight compartments? What are you getting at? I mean, as you obviously don't know who this guy trailing us is, does he know who you are? I don't know. Let me think. No, I don't think he does. Lomas reckons that the operators, he likes to call us, don't know each other. It makes for better security. Could be why he's never got caught. Lomas, I mean. Then how about it? No, I'm not interested. It's too risky, I tell you. Besides, I have a family to think of. Lomas would get back at them if they couldn't get me. I'd have to kill them too if... If he caught me, just for the thrill of it, he likes his kicks, and killing slowly is how he gets them. Now shut up. Go to sleep or something while I drive. We'll be at the dock soon. Okay, I get the message. For now. What does that mean? Nothing. Now how about a cup of coffee? My nerves are all shut. No, we keep going. No stops. Lomas is all Oh, to blazes with him. You want me to make a mess of it? Like, like maybe blown us both up before we reach the boat? Don't even talk like that, Murphy. Make my flesh creep just thinking about it. Well, coffee or not? All right, all right, you win. But we don't stop for long. We might miss the boat. Ah, <laughs> don't you, Twist. We've got plenty of time. Okay, okay. So we have a cup of coffee. Now shut up. Who's that ringing? Answer it, you fool, and you'll find out. Yes? It's Grant. He's a boss, eh? Yes. What do you want him for? Now, wait a minute. Why the places aren't you trailing Murphy and his guard? Put low mess on. I'll tell him, not his yes, man. Watch your lip. Then take yours off a mouthpiece and move. This is urgent. Hold on. Grant's on the phone, Romus. He wants to talk to you. Won't tell me anything. Give me that phone. What's wrong, Grant? Lost him? No, boss. They stopped at a driving cafe. I can see their car from here. Yeah, was this part of the plan? Stopping, I mean. No, it wasn't. Give up to them, Grant. Are they heading for the docks? Yeah. They're behaving okay. Just stopped. I thought I'd better let you know. Now, don't keep too near them. If Murphy spots you, he might change his mind and get rid of you. You mean kill me? He could. His nerves are all shot. Yeah, maybe he stopped to relax. Yeah. As long as they don't know who's tailing them, you'll be okay. Bring me when you get on the boat or any other time you feel is necessary. Okay, boss. And see, you don't miss that plane. I want you waiting in Belfast when they arrive to make sure Murphy and his guard keep to the timetable. Right. The meeting should be all finished. And I mean finished by tomorrow morning. Get me? I'll get you, boss. Kaput, Murphy. Kaput, peace meeting. Be careful, you fool. The phones have other ears. Sorry, boss. Yeah, gotta go. They're driving off. What's wrong, Robus? You look worried. Grant said Murphy and Malone had stopped at a cafe. It might mean nothing. On the other hand, it might. Like what? Sounds innocent enough to me. Maybe they were thirsty. Aye, I know. But supposing Murphy's trying to get at Malone. Malone's lost his zest and nerve for this sort of thing. Remember, the last bomb went off too soon. Killed civilians instead of the army. In what way could Murphy get it Malone? Oh, I don't know. That's what worries me. Hold on. 
Malone's brother. No, not that. Murphy can't know. Well, it's no go. To call up this operation would be as good as signing my own death warrant. You don't know, no mess. He get back at me if it takes him years. Anyway, I can't see the point of your plan. You want a pension for your family, don't you? Yes. But I want to save innocent lives as well as that. Why can't I blow myself up on an open field where I'll hurt no one? Like I said, what's the point? If you don't stop this peace meeting, Lomas won't honor the pension. He'll stop it and stop me. Permanently. Now, Bill Top, we've only 20 miles to go. I could convince you this operation is a wrong one, you know. How? You have a brother, Sean, haven't you? Yes. What about him? He's in this organization of Lomas's, isn't he? That's my affair. Anyway, how do you know I've got a brother? You've been spying on me? Yes, for some time. I know all about your family. Where they live, you name it. I know Malone. But why? You'll be dead tomorrow. What do you want to check up on me for? We've never met before. I've been checking up for quite a time now, Malone. Like Lomas's HQ is 38 Burlington Road, Hampstead, right? Yes. Who are you, Murphy? A guy who's dying, Malone. It's how I die that bothers me. Here, hold on. If you know Lomas's address, why'd you ask about his phone number? You didn't need it if you know where he lives. I wanted to do this the easy way. No, I can't. Now put that gun away, Malone. Killing you isn't in my plans. Then what is in your plans? To save you and your brother from dying unnecessarily. And myself from... Never mind. I do mind, Murphy, so spell it out. Now! All right, Malone. I'll spell it out. But you won't like it. I can't see how. Can't you? Then how's this for a starter? Your brother's at that peace meeting. You're lying! Lomas told me he'd won shot off. Am I? When did he last see your brother? About a month ago. This operation hadn't been planned then, had it? No. But, but Lomas wouldn't do this to Sean. Why should he? He doesn't want him dead. There's a phone booth ahead. Why don't you ring his wife and find out? I will. Then stop the car under those trees. We don't want our tail to spot us phoning. Okay. You wait here while I fall. Oh, no, Malone. I come with you. Let's go. Malone speaking. Who is it? Teddy, here, Elise. He's Sean there. No, he's gone to that peace meeting in Belfast. He left this morning, didn't you know? Oh, no. Who told him to go, Lomas? Yes. Look here, Ted, what's wrong? Uh, nothing's wrong, Elise. I, I just wanted a few words with Sean. It can wait. See you. All right. Bye. Satisfied? Yes. The dirty double-crossing swine. Uh, forget that for now and use your brains. What would Lomas expect you to do if he killed Sean? Kill him, of course. Exactly. So don't you think he'll do something to stop you doing that? Yeah, I suppose so. You mean the guy following us will kill me? I doubt it. You said yourself operators don't know each other. So surely Lomas won't want the tail to kill you by shooting. No Lomas would be more subtle. And he certainly wouldn't kill you himself. He's too squeamish. You know a lot about Lomas, don't you? I should do. I've studied the rat of the week. But why, Murphy? Come on. Who are you? I've told you. But let's get back to Lomas. Bombs are his things, aren't they? So why not a bomb in his car? So simple to dispose of you. The tail could trigger it off on the way back from the meeting. It would be put down to just another Irish outrage. Oh, what do you please us? You could be right. There's one way to find out. Check. Come on, what are we waiting for? Calm down, Malone. Check carelessly and we could set it off. Anyway, we can't do it here. The guy behind will soon be catching up with us. Right. We've got to get another car like this one. Well, it should be easier to come and make. I happen to know there's a car hire firm in this village with one. Then we can change the number plate. Blast it, you know everything, Murphy. What are we? Ruddy chess pieces under your guiding hands? You could say that. Now, while you drive around in the hired car with the homing device, I'll dismantle the bomb. Now, come on, let's move. Right. Time's running out for both of us. I get it. Yes? Drop, boss. They go crazy. What do you mean? They're driving around this village in circles. It don't make sense. If I don't pack it up soon, I miss a boat. Catch up with them, you fool. And see what they're up to, then report back to me. I parked the high car out of sight of the road. Have you dismantled the bomb yet? Just about. Now, one way to cut, then it's safe. It was a big bomb alone. It would have blown you and the car to smithereens. There'd be nothing left, except mincemeat and twisted metal. Yeah, lay off, can't you? 
My blood's freezing at the thought. You can relax now. It's safe. If you can dismantle this bomb, you can do the same to the one you're carrying. Oh, that's right. And you had no intention of blowing up the peace meeting. Right again, Malone. Yeah, I see. So what's the plan now? This is what we do. Yes? Let me speak to Lomas. It's Grant again, Lomas. Give me the phone. What's wrong now, Grant? Hey, nothing, boss. They stopped doing miracle rounds and they're on the boat. You're sure? On shore, boss. Excellent. Now go out and get that plane. Report to me in the morning when you're in Belfast. There's a phone booth not far from the peace meeting. You'll be safe from the blast. Now move it, Grant. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm on my way, boss. Hello, Lomas. It did Grant phone from Belfast this morning. Aye. Murphy's gone into the building. Grant's waiting for the blast. He's getting the peeps loud and clear. It should be all over any second now. Shoot him! Too late, Lomas. I set the fuse. If my hand goes off this button, the bomb will go off. You knew why I came back, Lomas? No. Because in the last bomb explosion you arranged in Belfast, my wife and child died. Yes, they're dead, you swine. Limbless bodies, Lomas. Limbless. Dead? Then... Then who did you... My brother's family gets the pension. And you can't stop it now. I planned this all along. Now stay where you are, or I remove my hand. No. No, don't, Murphy. Don't. Oh, in case you're wondering. Malone took the homing device into the building with my pass. Oh, don't worry, Lomas, he's safe. I defused the bomb in the car. Now maybe I have this one. Care to call my bluff? No. I didn't think you would. This is one pigeon that came home to roost. Oh, that's good, eh? A homing pigeon both of you didn't count on. No, Murphy. Don't make our words come true. What words, Higgin? Never mind that now. Get out of here, Murphy. We'll double the pension. Six thousand, then. Think of it, man. A cool six thousand. No. I got what I want. And I'm going to die in three weeks. So I'll die now. And take you two rats with me. No, don't, Murphy. For pity's sake. Don't take your hand off that... Adventure is produced by Henry Duffenthal.